Inside Sushi. Bluefin tuna is the star ingredient of Japanese cuisine. Since sushi became fashionable, a food industry that generates billions of euros and creates thousands of jobs has been created around it. Each November, dignitaries from 48 countries decide the fate of this marine species, one of the most prized and endangered of the planet. The resolutions adopted at the annual meeting of ICCAT, the International Commission for the Conservation of Tuna, mark the beginning of an uphill battle for control and exploitation of this very lucrative fish. El interés principal que está en juego es eh, la supervivencia de una especie, ni más ni menos, eh, que es el atún rojo del Atlántico Noreste y del Mediterráneo, eh, cuyo estado del stock es, eh, es trágico. Eh, y, bueno, mmm, desgraciadamente esta es no una organización para la conservación del atún rojo, eh, sino que es una organización más bien sobre comercio y producción, extracción del atún rojo, y por lo tanto tengo muy, poca, muy poco optimismo en cuanto, uh, en cuanto a las medidas reales de gestión medioambiental de esta especie en peligro de colapso. For many years, Roberto Mielgo worked as a professional diver for the tuna industry. He was part of the mad race to sell the best fish to Japan, a country increasingly hungry for sushi. But now, he uses his experience to prevent the extinction of the species. This is impressive, eh, Giorgio? It's impressive what they have there. This is... Es la primera vez en mi vida que veo una operación así. Through a network of contacts who report from various parts of the Mediterranean, Roberto tracks suspicious movements of fishing boats. Esos son jaulas de 40 de dorada y lubina. No sé cómo lo hacen. No sé cómo lo hacen. Yo, yo no hay visto nada. No, no, no hay. No hay. No hay absolutamente nada de lo que pensábamos que había. Roberto oversees each ship, each port, and each farm to gauge the level of illegal fishing that has left tuna at risk of collapse. The data he has obtained has made him the main witness for the prosecution against the excesses of the industry. Aquí ya tienes una primera jaula. Y cuatro llenas y dos vacías. ¿Ves la diferencia? Vamos, yo tengo que encontrar 3.800 toneladas en, en Grecia. Entonces, si no están aquí, tienen que estar en Heraclión. Y si no, es que me han contado un cuento chino. Roberto, like other environmentalists, says that industrial fishing is a major cause of collapsing fish stocks. Industrial fishing, which involves ships pulling a net around schools of tuna, is extremely lucrative. A single swipe can catch more than 3,000 fish. Obviamente, el, el, aquest, aquesta intensificació de, 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 la, de la mortalitat per pesca, de les captures, va eh, portar l'estoc a una situació d'alt alt risc de, de col·lapse i eh, en aquest moment ens trobem amb, un, amb una població que està a, a, a un nivell de només un terç de la, de, de la, de la biomassa, de l'abundància la, que es consideraria sostenible. Since the fishing season started in May, Greenpeace and Oceana boats follow the industrial fishing fleets around the Mediterranean. They follow nearly 250 registered fishing boats, but it is those from third-party countries that they focus on. What do the French armies do? On one hand, they receive subvenciones to construct new cerqueros, and on the other hand, their old cerqueros are abandoned in Libya, where they continue fishing for them, for the same companies, exporting that atún to Europe, and all this without any control. Industrial fishery is closely linked to fish farms. One activity cannot exist without the other. 
Every summer, hundreds of tons of tuna caught in Balearic waters are transferred to cages like these in Ametla de Mar, owned by the Balfago brothers. Here, the tuna are kept in captivity until they grow and can fetch higher prices at the Tokyo fish market. <laughs> 